Today, parishioners of St. Genevieve Catholic Church in Slidell gathered under a giant oak tree to celebrate Mass and the groundbreaking of a new church. That church was destroyed during Hurricane Katrina. ABC 26 News reporter Vanessa Bellano was at the service. A picture-perfect morning on the banks of Bayou Liberty in Slidell. Warm sun, cool breeze, and hundreds of parishioners who've anxiously waited for this day. have been waiting five years for it, so... A little over five years, so it's about time. This morning, St. Genevieve parishioners gathered for one last mass under this giant oak as they prepare to rebuild from Hurricane Katrina. The floodwaters did a lot more than just destroy the church. It separated the family, and coming back now, it just... It's like everybody gathering back. It's like having everybody back home finally. The storm left six feet of muddy water inside the church. It broke all the sides of the church as well as the, the parish uh, hall, and, and that was the only thing left, actually. And, uh, Since Katrina, the parish hall is where services have been held, but now they'll get a new home. Today, hundreds of parishioners brought dirt from their own homes and dumped it here, the site of the future St. Genevieve Catholic Church. Council member Steve Stefancic says $3.5 million was needed to build the church. Parishioners came up with $1.5 million. The rest was donated. Today is a fantastic day. It's really, uh, it's really a tremendous accomplishment for this parish, which is a relatively poor parish, to be able to come up and, and come up with enough money. Archbishop Gregory Heyman was on hand to help celebrate. To be here today, to be with people as they come back to rejoice and rebuild. Uh, this is a very different place. This spot is very different than it was five years ago in Katrina. Not devastation, but growth in life. Vanessa Bolano, ABC 26 News. The new church has a 500-person capacity. New Orleans Archbishop Gregory Amon called it an extraordinary gathering this morning. Archbishop Amon said mass under the 400-year-old oak tree along Bayou Liberty as parishioners of the St. Genevieve Church broke ground on a new church. North Shore Bureau Chief Doug Mouton shows us the special ceremony in Slidell. Hundreds came to this morning's celebration outside in perfect weather. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. After Katrina destroyed their church, this is what the faithful of St. Genevieve did for several weeks until they could get their community center ready for Mass as you will rebuild your church as a sign of your faith and offer that church to worship God. New Orleans Archbishop Gregory Amon said today's special mass under the oak along the banks of Bayou Liberty. For you individually, for businesses in Bayou Liberty, and also for your church as six feet of mud and water took that building. This tree stands as a sign that God has not left us, that this is sacred ground. After Mass, the celebration moved to the site of the new church. Parishioners dropped small bags of dirt from their homes into this hole. That dirt will remain permanently under the spot where the new altar will go. You as God's people of this local church are the foundation of this church. Then selected parishioners took turns shoveling dirt back into the hole. It's very emotional. My heart was just so 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 happy and, and, and you know uh, thankful you know for, for this beautiful day. You can feel something very profound today that people's uh, they were rejoicing that there's something sacred happening in their hearts. After today, Mass moves back inside the St. Genevieve Community Center. The goal is to have the new church built and ready to be opened by Christmas of next year. We lost our church. We lost our homes. Most of us. So it really meant a lot to us. Judith Miltenberger has come to church here since 1958 and said she's never felt anything like what she felt today. A common sentiment this morning along Bayou Liberty. It's the 27th Sunday in ordinary time, but may I suggest that there is nothing ordinary about this gathering today. It is extraordinary. Doug Mouton, Channel 4 Eyewitness News.